Good morning, everyone. Uh, I slept an average of maybe 10 hours in the past five days. So there's obviously a lot of horrible things I will say, but it doesn't matter. We're amongst friends, lots of friends. So um, yesterday I, I, I saw a presentation, I forgot who he was, um, the history of JavaScript, 1995, 2005, 2015, who was it? Ben Benedict, maybe. Oh, you're yeah, okay, great. So I just realized how old I am. <coughs> um, I'm, I'm almost 40. I actually turned 38 yesterday. So I was, thank you. And I was thinking, uh, what? Oh, so that, that's all it takes to get some claps, you know, just like make sure you time your birthdays with the next conference. So I was wondering, you know, I, I was talking to Alex yesterday about blockchain. So one of the reasons why I'm, I will definitely mess up this presentation because I've been thinking about blockchain for the past few hours. And I was like, oh, so you mean it's kind of like peer-to-peer, kind of like Napster, right? And he's like, Napster? I was five. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I remember the day when like, Napster came out, I'm like, there's this new cool thing, new cool thing, you know? And I realized how old I am, and I realized how fast things move, you know? And React is so cool for now, until Guillermo invents something else, and then it's over. So I, I thought maybe I'll start with uh, what happened before 1995, because we, we talked about 1995 yesterday, and that was like a pre-internet era. So I'm like, you know what? There's actually another year before 1995 that was very important for me, and that was 1994. <laughs> now, if you don't know the 1994 jerseys, that means you're really young. So I'm going to give you a little history lesson. That was the greatest soccer team this country has ever seen, right? So if you don't agree, I don't care. I'm, I'm, that's true. Um, now, they don't call them the golden team and the golden era because they all painted their hair uh, yellow. I did too, but it's just because they're the best ever. And, you know, for me, these guys were my heroes. They were my soccer heroes, you know? And I think there's a lot of parallels between sports and JavaScript, and you know, programming. So if this is a JavaScript heroes conference, I thought I'll start talking about some other kind of heroes and see if we can draw parallels. So these, are, these were my soccer heroes. In 1994, I know it's, it's gonna sound crazy, but I was, I was 15. <laughs> and and uh, I just wanna be a soccer player. I could care less about programming, and I was into other things other than programming, you know, like a lot of my friends here you know, philosophy and art and stuff. And uh, I, I, think, I think that uh, programming has to get back to that, and I, I'm, I'm gonna explain. So these were my heroes, but not just Haji, this guy, the middle guy, Ilya Dumitrescu. And then I, I, think, I think I figure out why Guillermo's here, why he chose Cluj to just come and like be here, because it's a big, it's a big honor, and I think I, I, I figured it out. That same year, it's the year that we had our biggest victory, other than obviously Stahl winning 86, but that's even before the 90s. We actually beat Argentina 3-2, and Ilya Dumitrescu scored two goals in the first 18 minutes. Uh, now it's, we're gonna score two goals in the next five years. But <laughs> so I think Guillermo's here to kind of like, I don't know, I have no idea why, but I think it's related to that, so we gotta connect the dots somehow. Um, so these are my heroes. But I know, so talk about 94, so Batistuta, actually he scored the first goal for Argentina. They lost, obviously, and he actually took a dive, so that's him diving. Um, but, you know, in 94, another guy became famous, another uh, soccer hero, Bebeto. At the bottom here, this is him and that's Romario, not one of my heroes. And what he's doing there, he's cradling the baby. He, he just had a baby. Well, not him, but his wife. And he was at the World Cup, and he said if he scores a goal, he's going to tell the whole world he had a baby. Okay? So he scored a goal, so he just spontaneously invented this, like, cradling the baby, you know? And he also meant that I'm so good at soccer, because I'm a soccer hero, and it's so easy a baby can score. Okay? So then everyone jumped in. So now he's famous for inventing the cradling the baby. So that was Romario back then. They were all cradling the baby when they scored. And in 2014, that's him again. And to the right, that's his son. The son that he had in 94. And he's a professional soccer player. He, he's, he signed with 
I think, uh, Lisbos or some in Portugal, I think. And um, it's funny, he became famous because, uh, because he was good, four time, four, four top, four goal scorer of Brazil, some kind of hero. But he was also a hero because he, he paid respect to and he honored, he honored his son. So to me, that's very important because I have four kids. So I'll bring that. So this is another hero of mine, Toti. He just retired a week ago or two weeks ago as the most loyal hero in, in Italian soccer ever. He was drafted at Ace Roma when he was 13. He was insanely good, if you know what I'm talking about. And he got an offer at Real Madrid, but he didn't go. He stayed, and he just retired. And when he, uh, he, not him, his wife gave birth to one of their children, he invented this sucking the thumb uh, trend, just like Bebeto, so now everyone sucks their thumb. Even Messi sucks his thumb. <laughs> and, and they do it because they say, you know, um, it's so easy, and you, a baby could do this. You know, I'm so good, a baby could do this. That's the whole thing. Um, so there's this transition from, like, you know, honoring their kids to, like, you know what? Uh, daddies can, like, do this because it, it's easy somehow. So, so basically, this is me giving you a dad talk today. And I don't know what he's pointing at, because it's weird, you know, sucking your thumb and pointing at some guy, but Zidane's not impressed. Now, Zidane, for me, he's, he's, the, he's like the all-time hero. Because, because, period. And uh, that's why I used to wear number five. So, so Zidane just won the Champions League. So he's the superhero right now. He won everything. Now he won it as a coach. So what I'm getting at is that what I would like is for a generation of old heroes, like me and Paul maybe, we're old. Like, I mean, that's life. To figure out ways like this conference, like tools, like frameworks, like whatever the hell, anything, to turn a new generation of young people into heroes. And I love the name of this conference, Heroes. And why, why I'm, I'm finishing this slide, no, I'm not finishing, but why I stopped at the slide, because I don't know if you recognize what, what this is. Do you recognize anyone or anything in there? Anyone? Haji in the middle, right? But you know what this is? We, they're kind of they're like anonymous, right? Not as an anonymous anonymous, but as they're like, we don't know them. Well, they're the, new, they're the best team in Romania, Vitorul. They just won the Romanian 2017 Cup. They beat Cefere Cluj, but like, no one needs to know that. <laughs> and, and Haji has worked for eight years, eight years at this club. He got young kids, very young kids, because they're still young, but they were younger eight years ago. He worked with them, he trained them, and they freaking beat Stawa. And I'm still crying about it, because I'm a stylist, because I was born in Vickers, but I, no one needs to know about that either. But the point is, he won the championship, and why? Because he figured out a way, like a tool, a framework, a structure, a club, to breed a new culture of heroes. And I think this is what, I, 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 to me, this is what this conference is about, and this is what we should do. You become a hero, figure things out to make other people's heroes, you know? So I, I really like this. But, so one of the heroes I want to present today is Andra Marin. Hello, Andra. I told her. Yeah, so I told her I'm going to tell So, So Andra just released the JS Heroes app to the App Store, uh, so you can download it on your phones, iPhones. This is the iPhone version. And on Android, she's known as Poofy. <laughs> so Poofy basically just became a hero because uh, this is televised, right? So it's going to be on Pro TV. And basically, Andra is my, she's a hero in my, in my mind because Monday, well, actually not Monday because we're all children, so June 1st we don't work. But t Tuesday we had nothing. And two days ago we have an app on the App Store. So to me, this is, this is the new breed of heroes. This is the Vitoru. This is the new soccer players that I, I think uh, can, can rise, at least in this country. So... If, Anna, if Andra can do this app, I think other people can. That doesn't mean that Andra's like, just if Andra can do it, anyone can do it. No, but, <laughs> but what I mean is that, you know, this is her first app on the App Store, and she did it. And um, my, 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 my point is that if we invest more time in building tools and platforms and paradigms and whatever the hell we need to do to make more Andras into heroes... Right, Andra? She's dying. Sorry. Please. Okay, Eliza. I don't know why our mobile team is all girls, but that's another story. Okay. 
And, um, and then uh, basically my whole point is, and this is, this is going to be fun. I realize that if for, if for no other reason, this is what I'm going to do right now. This is the meat of my talk. So you ready for this? So Maria, okay, she's 18. She's the smarter pers smartest person in the room for sure. Don't feel offended. She's just smarter than all of us. And she just, she just got accepted at Oxford and another thousand universities, but I think she likes Oxford. And this is what I said, I'm gonna say, I said this, I'm gonna tell them, the whole room and everyone else at home, that you're gonna go to Oxford and you're gonna study, but then you're gonna come back to Romania, right? And you're gonna say yes, live, right? Like you're gonna come back, right? Yes, see, so that's it, you have to come back now. So if there's no other reason for me to talk today, it's just, it, it, this is it. I, she's gonna come back to Romania. So the point is, I really think that if we get all these smart brains in this room, especially the younger ones, to stay here and build amazing things, we can be like not just the best soccer team in the world, but we can be the best developers in the world. So that's the premise of everything that I, I want to do. So now, the problem is, right now, as Vladimir showed, and others before, building apps is like this. And it's like, hey bro, or girl, get in there and land that plane, you know? Just Click the button, look, there's like good seats there. Those are redux, reducers, they're shiny, you know? And, uh, and then you're just gonna fly the freaking plane in like some sort of Dubai building there. I think that's Dubai. <laughs> but, but, but it's, but there's, look, and, then, and if it doesn't work out, you can also have the bar with you and just get drunk while you do it. So then it's like, I was drunk, you know? So I think this, so in 94, when I didn't wanna be developer, up to like 2015, Okay, I pretty much did mobile. That's all I did mostly. Except I played with some JavaScript back in the day, but like, pff, it, was, it was funny, it was MooTools, developed by Guillermo. So two years ago, I decided to like reinvent myself. So I'm like, let me pick JavaScript. So I'm a, a newbie at JavaScript. I've been doing it for two years, and it's a mess to me, at least. And it feels like this cockpit. You know, and I've been doing Objective-C for nine years. I'm like, that's nothing compared to JavaScript. But they have reducers, you know. And, and then I realized, how the hell am I going to turn Andra into a, into a hero? And how are we going to create a department where we create amazing apps for amazing startups with this freaking, like, mess? Now, I know you, you affectionately call it fatigue. I call it, like, a suicide killer something, evil, eyes bleeding, I, whatever, <laughs> okay? So, I know, I know no one's saying it, there's a huge elephant in the room. Redux is fine at 99 lines, if you take out the, the comments, it's 55, it's so simple. And then your code is 3,000 lines setting up Redux, you know? The reducers and all that stuff. What happened? <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I out of time? <laughs> all right, so the point is, I wanted to figure a way out to get Andra to be a hero and not put her in this freaking cockpit. So then I came up with this. I call it Chunky. This is, most of my open source projects come from nicknames I give my kids. And my two-year-old daughter, she's like cute and fat and chubby, and I call her my Chunky Monkey. So I'm like, I'll call it Chunky. And then I took this funky React thing here, and if, I'm going to probably spend two hours just talking about the logo. But You've probably seen that it blinks, right? <laughs> okay, so it's just this, this kind of full-stack React framework, like Vladimir was saying. It's not fully full-stack yet, but hopefully one day Vladimir contributes to it or someone else. And it's for mere mortals. I mean mere mortals in the sense that we don't all have to be Zidane. We don't all have to be Bebeto and, you know, other players that you probably have no idea who I'm naming right now. Bebeto is really old. But, like, whoever, you, we don't have to be rock stars. I hate when they call, or HR calls uh, developers ninjas. I completely hate it. And, you know, I, I, I looked up superheroes at some point, and it turns out, like, the most beloved superhero is Batman. And I looked into it. I, I needed to understand why Batman is so beloved. You know why? He's the only superhero that's fully human. Do you know that? He doesn't fly. He doesn't do crap like all the other superheroes. Obviously, you're a superhero if you can fly. Big deal. I can, like, you know? Even, even like, Iron Man, he had his fake heart thing. He's not human anymore. Batman is. So I really think what we need is a new breed of heroes. Just... Freaking GS heroes, pure heroes, not superheroes. If you would have called this conference GS superheroes, I would have never even stepped in this. So, 
So I call these heroes mere mortals. We're all mortals. We're all normal people. So why the hell do we build frameworks that look like this? You know, why do we have so, have so many buttons? And so I wanted to create something that I could explain to my kids and I explain to, you know, whoever wants to understand our insane world. And maybe that will mean that some sort of artist, philosopher, writer, person who's not technical might be attracted to our technology crazy world and build the next amazing thing. Because, you know, the great products we all use were not built by technologists. They're all built by artists and philosophers. So I think one of the things I want to do, and I would invite us all to do, is to, to use our superpowers. Okay, that doesn't work with, like, superheroes. Or normal powers of developers. Or, and build simple tools that are not just simple in lines, but simple to understand and simple to apply. But that means that they're not going to be used. Um, they're not going to be... Uh, they're not going to solve all the problems all the time. So, so why should you care? So first of all, who should care uh, about Chunky? Think the people who don't consider themselves rock stars and ninjas should worry about, about, about uh, Chunky. I don't know if you heard of Seinfeld, but I think, I think Seinfeld is the best example of, of, uh, of how you, you should prepare for a talk. Just like talk about nothing. They build, a f they build a fortune on nothing. Anyways, so there's a, there's a joke in Seinfeld. No soup for you, if you know what I'm talking about. So if you're a ninja and a rock star, then Chunky is no soup for you. Chunky is not going to give you any soup. Uh, by the way, Chunky also comes from the idea that, you know, instead of eating disgusting spaghetti code, you should eat, you know, healthy, chunky soup. So there's no chunky soup for you if you think you're a ninja and you're a rock star. It's not for you. So it is for the people who are humble enough to think that they, to know that, like Vladimir. I love the fact they say, I don't freaking know what P A A W whatever are. I love that. You know, we shouldn't act smart when we're not smart. So this is built for hu <laughs> this is built for this is built for mere mortals who are smart. We're all smart. Everyone has their own level of brains, but when we admit that we don't know everything and we're not going to know everything, this is what Chunky is for. So, um, and that's because mere mortals are human too. So why, why, why should you care, right? So who, but why should you care? I think because reality. <laughs> because, because honestly, a lot of the times when we build frameworks and tools, I don't think we keep real. I love what you said about reality or, what, yeah, yeah, you you're, no, was it you or the speaker before? See, I'm like, I saw it, I'm going to say stupid things. But basically, when you go and you, oh, no, no, I think it was, yeah, it was before the cloud. When you're like, okay, so you build this, the tutorial tells you this, but in real life, your app just dies, okay? So in the real world, what happens, you have an entrepreneur who's probably not technical, okay? And they have this idea that I, they don't know if it works or not. So people are trying to solve that problem with lean startup or design thinking or whatever. And on this other side, we have us who we have reducers and actions and, you know, selectors and React and web and all that. And he doesn't give a shit. He just wants an app. He wants to build an app. He wants it real. He wants it fast. And if some kid in Nebraska can do it in PHP 4, he's going to hire that kid, you know? So then it's us here doing JavaScript, but we're cool. And we're just not going to get the business and you're going to end up being a taxi or an Uber driver because, you know, that's cool. <laughs> so this is why you should care. Because it's better, it's better to build an app that doesn't have all the shiny, amazing, cool things, but does what the entrepreneur and the business person needs. So I'm hoping that Chunky can be a tool that can you know, end all the strife and the wars between entrepreneurs, between the CEO and the CTO, right? If it does that, 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 that would be great. Um, and also because nerds have lives too, or we should have lives, you know? We're not all about like someone came up with this amazing uh, uh, formula yesterday, Ben. You know, I think that ties to the second, uh, 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 Newton's second law, you know, force equals MA, with, where, you know, if you want to get better, you should learn more, and we have all this, like, learning, and, yeah, I'm, I'm teaching too, because, yeah, I got on the bandwagon. You know, but we have lives. We can just keep learning everything, you know? And I have four kids, guys. I can't learn everything, okay? I only have one hand. I've been programming with one hand for 10 years, okay? <laughs> I, yeah, it's, I'm a one-handed programmer. So, so, so this is mostly why Chunky, because, because reality 
and because, because we're, we're, we're human. We're human. So the three features are chunky. Chunky has opinions, like any two-year-old, you know? And in the, in the sense that you might want React Router, and I love React Router, and I'm working on a framework for React Router for the web, but I choose React Navigation for mobile because I just have opinions. And you know what? It might not be the best thing, but if every single person and every single project does the same freaking research, we're not going to get anywhere, and that app is going to be built by the kid from Nebraska in PHP 4, right? So what I wanted to do is just pick a stack. I don't care if it's not the best stack. Just pick a stack, make some smart decisions when someone's going to ask you, why did you pick navigation? Because, well, okay. Now you go, well, because I had no idea. Okay? <laughs> so just pick a stack, go with it, and then everyone's going to use that stack. And I'll just do my best to make sure you can swipe, like cut out React navigation for something. I'm definitely going to make sure you can cut out Redux because I'm just loving and hating it and loving it and hating it, and I'm mostly hating it right about now. But, so, you can, so you can take out some things and put in some other things, but the paradigm should stay the same, and you shouldn't do all the research first. Why would you research what's the best way to do blah, 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 blah? Why should you do that? You know, let someone else do the research, like in the real world, and then you just implement it. Are we all going to be machine learning scientists, guy? Come on. We're not all going to be scientists. You know, Google hired the best scientist in the world. She's going to have the best team, which she already does. And she's going to come up with the best algorithms. I and mean, we're going to use the algorithms, you know. We don't know how the... I bet you we don't know how CPUs work. I bet you we don't know. And it doesn't matter, right? So, so I think it's good to have opinions. That this is what Chunky does. It just has opinions. And you can definitely contrib contribute and can change those opinions if you, if you don't like those opinions. But if we come up with some opinions, just use them. And the second thing that I like, on Kala Turzi, I live on Turzi. You know where Turzi is. And, <laughs> and, and, and what I love about Kala Turzi is that there's no more wires. They hit the wires. It's pretty, it's beautiful. And I want, you know, I was wondering, like, why did they only use Kala Turzi to hide the wires? Be because that's where people come into Cluj, you know? So we got to wow the, the tourists. But by the time they get to Chipari, they don't care anymore. It's like, Cluj doesn't have wires, but they figure out that, you know, because they didn't. Anyway, so it's a marketing thing. But hiding the wires is a good thing in programming. I don't want to hide. I really, really don't want to wire actions and selectors anymore. You know, like your code, that's a good, that's, I mean, that's how we wrote some of our first apps. I just don't want to do that anymore. Why should you cut and paste from web and mobile? You know, why should you do that? Why should I even care what the hell a reducer does and an action does when I act? It's so funny because I, I can't wait to see his actions it's like, and selectors. Like, one line, get. You know, it's why? Okay, so I, I just wanted to hide the wires. I wanted to hide the wiring. I just want to click a few things. It's not going to work 90% of the times. It works for the gist. Sorry, it's not going to work 10% of the time. <laughs> That's what I really meant. You know, and then we'll figure out a way to make it work in the other times. And the other, the last thing, the last thing, I really think you should make you smile. A framework should make you smile. You should use the framework. You should be like, Come on. <laughs> no, really? That's it? Yes, it's on the App Store. It's live, made by Poofy. Wait, I can. <laughs> so by the way, you should download it. It's, it's a real thing, you know? So it, it's a real app. So when, you, when, you, when, you, when I see a developer's face and say, well, I don't know React, and I don't know Redux, and I don't know this, but I want to learn, don't worry. Just use Chunky, do your thing. You know, JSON, you're good to go, and then just write a bit of UI, click a few buttons and command lines, and your app's on the app. That's it, that's it! Go have fun! You know, street food festival, whatever. So that should make you smile. You know, what are you doing here eating burgers? My app's on the app store. What? Well, I'm still wearing my Redux, oh, you know. So I, I'm hoping that if you use Chunk, you're gonna laugh more. I really hope, so that's, that's it. All right, so how, what does it take? What does it take to start? It's a one-liner. I love that one command to rule them all, but um, I have a command to rule them all. It's called Chunky. Um, and, 
and you just install Chunky, and you'd be surprised how many times I reinstalled React Native because I just kept reinstalling React Native CLI by accident. But it, it's React Chunky CLI, guys. So install React Chunky, and then if you do, I promise your life will never be the same for you and your loved ones. That should be the slogan for Chunky if it ever turns into a startup. And then depending on your, depending on your, why, uh, your, your connection, it could take a minute or two to download all the magic put it on your file system, unzip it, because it's just a template. <laughs> you know when you have a magicians and they do these tricks, they do their tricks like, how'd you do that? You know, like, oh, that's it. So I'm not gonna tell you how I'm doing this. It's just two minutes. It's not like I take a thing off GitHub and unzip it and it's a template and just do some. Anyways, so it works. So you get that, it has templates, okay? So there's a template right now for the JS Heroes app. So if you wanna create a, uh, New York JavaScripters app and, and, you know, or whatever. You download the conference, uh, you, it, it automatically downloads it for you. You download, you, you install the template, and then you get started. And then you have this idea, of course, of chunks. And, but that, that's separate. So, and then I just override the, the packager because some genius at, at Facebook said, no, we're not gonna use Webpack because blah, 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 it's three milliseconds minus whatever. So they invented their own a packer that drives me crazy, so I hooked into it a little bit. Uh, but the point is, I override a bunch of that stuff, so all you have to do is just say, chunky start, chunky iOS, and maybe I should do like chunky bye-bye or something, just for fun. <laughs> okay, so that's it. I, don't, I, I really don't wanna do a live demo. I, well, how much time do I have left? Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so I, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you it's real. It's a real thing. So this, this is the way it works. I'm also using Hyper, but I did not get paid. Who said they got paid for using Hyper? I did not get paid for using Hyper. Anyways, but I have the fancy thing. Anyways, so basically, so if you, if you get to this point and you get to do this and press enter and see this, your life will never be the same. It's also built with a framework I built for CLIs called Slana. And if you're Romanian, you'll get that. <laughs> See, you get it. You get it. Good. Yeah, it's called Slana, and you just write a yeah, but that's another conference talk. <laughs> and basically, you know what it's called Slana? See, foreigners will not get it. Slana means like a piece of pork fat that, okay, that everyone pretends they don't eat, but everyone does, okay? And it's called Slana because Slana fattens your node module with delicious CLI abilities. That's what Slana does, but I don't know what I'm talking about Slana. Anyway, Slana is used to build this. So you have all these commands, so you can actually type, you know, chunk start, which I have here, so it starts your packager. And what's different about this is that instead of looking for the index iOS and index Android where it typically uses, uh, where it looks, I, I kind of changed it, and I did a pull request to React Native for one freaking line, guys, and it took like over 60 days and they still haven't approved it. That's another, anyways. So I just hacked their whole packager and I'm using my packager. But the point is, so now it also looks under my iOS, uh, under, under, under my, my, my uh, Chunky. And uh, if you look at a typical Chunky app, there is no iOS index crap. And, so this is the file. So all you have, there's no, where's the index iOS? There's no index iOS? There, why would you have an index iOS? And I, anyways, I think an index should be enough. So you know what, I'm like, what the hell? Just remove the whole index. So I just created this chunky JSON, and I was really, really, really wanted, I really wanted to use the app JSON, which I, it's so dumb, two lines, but I think they're gonna like take it out at some point, they're gonna override it with something. But I just said, I'm not gonna override a package, I'm not gonna write the app, I'll just come up with a new JSON. And this is your app. So basically you have a bunch of chunks and sections. So you can connect your, you can organize your chunks in sections. So here I have two sections, one called start. So a, a, a piece of the app, a section of the app, it's called start. And that's a section that will deal with authentication in my, in my, in my case, but I could have another big section maybe that handles uh, notifications and maybe, you know, in app, stuff that marketing may want to send. And then I have this huge section, which is the dashboard. And then under there, you have layouts. So for example, I have drawer layout, and um, this, is, this is why I use React Navigation, because they have that built in. But I'm not going to change it to drawer because I have a bug and I haven't tested it, but I'm, I'm, I'm honest and I'm telling you it doesn't work. But it will work by the time you get back home and you use it. So, 
So, but you just type tabs or you type jar and then the tabs just transform into jars when it works and okay. <laughs> and it's gonna be really fun. So basically here I have stack and I have three different chunks. So I have a conference chunk, I have a scheduled chunk and I have a speaker's chunk. Okay, and I also have global transitions, and I, I, I did not want to invent something else to describe transitions, so I just used the typical URI schema where you have a source. Now you have replace, but replace doesn't work in React navigation, and the ecosystem's going crazy because they don't know how to figure that out. Anyways, so it's a fake replace, it's really a push. But it has, you know, but it has, um, it, it tells you that. Uh, you can replace uh, and go to the dashboard and let's call this transition show dashboard. And what that means is that I can go to this.transitions.show dashboard and it just goes there for me. And as a developer, I don't need to figure out the whole thing. I don't need to understand why the hell it happens. Just, it just happens. Just trust that it happens. So you just do this. Transition shows dashboard. Transition show login. That's all you got to do. Okay, that's all you gotta do. It just over, I just overwrite a bit of a screen stuff and do a lot of magic in there. You can take a look, it's nothing crazy. But the point is, why? Why are we not doing this? Why do we have to do a whole thing over again? All I want, and even this can be obviously put in a JSON, um, <laughs> which will happen. The next step is to build a sketch plugin, which I've already looked into it, but anyways, next step. And then you can generate a UI, and that's it. And we don't need developers anymore. Robots will do it. Anyway, but who's going who's gonna to code the robots, eh? <laughs> Anyways, that's a, so, so if there's one thing you want to take away from this is that someone will tell you one day that you will be replaced by robots as developers. And what you should say is this, who the hell's going to code the robots? Well, the robots will code the, what a, okay, who's going to code the robots that codes the robots? <laughs> that's going to be us? So we're going to be robot coder. Anyways, so we're, our jobs are safe. Trust me. Okay, so then you have chunks. So here you have all these chunks. So here's how much? Like okay, yeah. our minus 18 minutes. Anyway, so you have all these <laughs> chunks. So all you have in all you have all you have in your app, you have a chunky JSON that explain that explains yeah that that explains it like to a two year old what this app needs to do. It has a bunch of sections. It has a theme. I can even change the theme here. Um, uh, basic colors that I want to change. It has an ID that gets all plugged into your Android manifest and all the other insane, obscure ways. I hate Android as well, uh, but it, Chunky fixes that for you. And then uh, provisioning, you know, initial uh, Firebase and stuff like that. It supports Firebase. Authentication works to Firebase anyways, but it's easy to support because Firebase is easy. Okay, and then all you have to do, so you have the Chunky JSON and then you have chunks. That's all you do, just chunks. And under chunks, um, a lot of convention, every folder name has to you know, correspond to your uh, names here. But that's why there's templates. Just get a template, don't mess with, I mean, mess with it, but <laughs> you don't have to wire it up. And then so if you look at the example, uh, example, yeah, I'm drunk. Uh, for example, if you look at the odd chunk, there's no screens, there's nothing, because it extends another chunk. So you just can create chunks, put them on NPM, and then just reuse them. So the whole thing here in, in authentication, the screen, the register, the login, the loading, the transitions, the Firebase communication, the logout, all that is an authentication chunk. And you can customize it, you can do whatever the hell you want with it. So for example, I can log out, maybe. Okay, so for example, I created this thing in styles called uh, dark. You can have a dark or a light theme, so I don't want dark right now, for example. And um, there you go, it just works, right? And then I can also hook in on other things like providers like Firebase or a remote API or things like that. So you can, replay, you can reuse the chunks, you can extend the chunks, you can customize the chunks. So the bottom line is you don't really need to be a React developer anymore. It's over. We killed it. You're, you can be a chunk developer now. <laughs> you don't need to write entire apps. You can write chunks of the apps. Why the hell not? Why should you write the entire app? Write a chunk. Let that chunk do just one specific thing. That chunk does conferences. That chunk does insane whatever. And then just reuse the chunks. So that's pretty much what I have, except that, uh, yeah, uh, just go and contribute, please, because I'm just getting tired of coding this whole <laughs> thing by myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, guys. Thank you. Oh, wait.
I promised I'm going to end the, the, the presentation with like, it's so easy a baby could do it, you know? Just use Chunky. So you remember the sucking? Anyway. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Dan. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm, it breaks my heart to, to stop you, but we really have to continue. Yeah. Uh, so for the guys who are curious about Chunky, and I'm sure there are a couple, uh, please talk to Dan at the, at the coffee break. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.